level six, working and training the hip on one leg. So we're gonna start off with our dynamic toe tap drill again, but today we're going to take it as a hover. So let's just lightly hold the pelvis, find our one leg stand, so we shift over, nice and comfortable, stacked. Then we're going to take the leg behind, but hover, bring it up. Two, bring it up, I'm gonna do four, tapping forward. So remember the pelvis comes with the foot, but we're not touching the floor this time, we're just hovering. Getting the heel again on our weight-bearing leg, hip will stay over the foot, body tilts with the foot, and then we're gonna go in the other direction. And don't worry if this is a little bit wobbly when you come back. Remember, balance is actually all about the ability to come back to center. Rotate, so this is our transverse across, and then we're going to do our transverse open. Open, whoa, two. This is a pronating foot. So again, lengthening and widening. Popping onto my other side. <clears throat> now I'm just going to make sure before I go anywhere that my foot is nice and wide on the floor. So I have this big triangular foot with my toe connected and pressing in. Coming backwards again, hover, pivot through the hips here, wide sitting bones again at the back, and stay in your heel. Coming forwards, again, keep your weight towards the back of the foot, and you should feel your tummy kick in as well. We're gonna to come to the side, two, pivoting here, three, four, across the body, one, two, three, and again, try and stay as side on as you can. Transverse, one, come back, two, three, four, open, rotate, one, nice pronating foot, hip stays over the foot, three, four. Good, so that's Four in each direction, sagittal, frontal, and transverse. And that's a dynamic balance drill. And remember, we want to feel our feet reacting to that. So little toe pad press and looking for pronation and supination.